Sometimes you'll throw that spinner bait out there, and you'll start cranking it in, and you'll you'll want to make another cast, so you start reeling real fast, you'll catch a fish. So those are things to pay attention to. Now let's look at the tubes or some of the follow-up baits. Tubes will always work real good. The ones we use in this one are white or silver. That's a great springtime color. And you can even go a little bit deeper. If some of the fish are dropping off those deeper drops into, say, 10 or 15 feet, you can catch them on those white or silver because that's the dominant food source in the springtime. Our minnows and gobies, now we find out that 80% of the bass's diet are gobies. So have that follow-up bait ready to go. Hey, this works great. All right, let's go into summertime. Summertime, a great, great pattern for everybody to use is live bait. Emerald chiners are the best, but they're really, really hard to keep alive in warmer water. So we go to golden chiners. Golden chiners works great. The rigs are simple. Watch. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Fishing with uh, golden chiners. Real simple rig. A uh, kind of a modified Carolina rig. And uh, works great. Look at the fat belly on that boy. Wow. Good boy. Good girl. We know she's a girl. Oh, yes. A very, very healthy fish. Very healthy fish. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Oh, chunk. Quality fish any place in the country, but right here, this is a, a, a good fish, and uh, you can expect to catch these, several of these in a, a day's fishing in the early spring. Nice. Uh, right in the lip. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Wow, look at the belly. Look at the belly on that fish. <laughs> wow. Exceptional. Exceptional. Wow, look at that. All right. All right, let's let her go. Be caught another day. All right. Okay, there, big, big girl. Take a breath, and off she goes. Very, very simple rig. Carolina rig uh, used extensively in the south for fishing for largemouth bass, but... A bullet sinker with a glass bead to keep it from sliding too far down onto the swivel. A simple swivel. I like uh, Sampo's because they're ball bearing and they spin around a lot. And you, when you're using bait like this, it can spin a lot. About a four foot leader and a number two Daiichi hook. To hook them, you just put the hook right through the lips, up through the bottom, out through one of the nostrils. Keeps them nice and lively, works great. All right, back out here. All right. There he is. Golden China. Come here, big boy. Can I hit the cameraman in the head with the with the rod tip as I'm doing this. It is a chunker, about a oh, three pound fish maybe, but very, very large. Look at that wide body right there. Wide body, small mouth, very nice. Very nice. Very nice fish. Come on, come on. There's one, there's one, all right. Now on this one, it changed to a three way. Went from uh, the Carolina type to the three-way, and I'll show you how that works, too. But look at that beautiful quality fish. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Oh, look at that. Big old fatty. down in the, oh yes, nice little jump, nice little jump, well, actually it was a, we wouldn't call that a jump, we'll call that a slide, or a, uh, a dip, but they have, have different names for what fish do, because they don't always jump, they sometimes, sometimes slide, sometimes, Kareen, Kareen Abdul Jafish, come here big boy, now, this boat's a little deeper than what I'm used to with my old bass boats, but nonetheless, we still accomplish the feat. Hey, big ol' smile. 
Look at that. Yes, hello there. I see you looking at me. It was really nice knowing you. Thank you for being on Northeast Outdoors. It was a pleasure. <laughs> that hook was barely in there, but a beautiful fish. Look at this. Big old fat belly. Yeah, actually, this one isn't this fat. This one might have spawned already. The, uh, the anus is a little bit uh, reddened right there from probably spawning already, so she may have dropped her eggs. That is a big fish. Beautiful fish, too. Let her go. And there you go, big fella. All right. Yeah. All right, let me briefly explain the three-way to you. So we were using the uh, Carolina before, but this is a three-way. This is a very commonly used rig here in the Western New York area on both the Lower Niagara River, Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. Starts out from your main line with a three-way swivel. My tag ends are a little bit long here, but that doesn't matter because the fish don't see that. We have a, a dropper right here of about a foot, and I've got about a one ounce pencil weight here. Now usually we run this as being uh, a little bit lighter than the main line. This is 10 pound. My leader is 12, 12 pound Vanish, Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. This is eight pound uh, XL. So this is a little bit lighter. So if this gets snagged, it can break off. You don't lose your whole rig and all you lose is a sinker. Now my leader is extremely long on this. It's about five feet long. Coming down, I've downsized the size of my hook to accommodate smaller bait. This is a number four Daiichi. So uh, an octopus type hook hooked up to this. You can see how long this is from here down to my three way. So you can see it's quite a distance, about five feet right there. And uh, makes a little bit difference. The fish are kind of moving up off the bottom as the sun is rising. Kind of the opposite of most other times of year. Live bait works like nothing else, folks. I'll tell you what. Even the New York State record smallmouth bass at 8 pounds, 4 ounces was taken by a perch fisherman using a minnow. So live bait works really, really well. You want to keep it alive. You want to keep it healthy. You want to keep it in cool, aerated water. If you have a live well, it's real important to keep that aeration going. You want to keep it cool, just take a pop bottle, freeze some water in it, and keep it in there during the day. It'll keep your bait cool and lively. One thing you want to remember, too, is to take along some soft-shell craws. They're an excellent bait for summertime and, again, in late fall. Works really well. You want to make sure that your soft shells are also cool. You don't want to keep them in the water, but you want to keep them in a cool area, keep ice around them, and you'll do really well. Live bait fishing can be done on the three-way rig that we used. You can call it a three-way, or you can call it a Wolf River rig. Very important. It works great. One thing you want to remember is using fluorocarbon line, if one pound test leader is not working well, go to another. Go from 8 to 10 to 12 or maybe even down to 6. Fluorocarbon is the key to keep those hooks small. Now let's go to drop shotting.